The German army is advancing across Europe, and the government has ordered all British men between the ages of 20 and 22 to report for army registration. Most of the men are leaving, but we'll have to keep going. Think about it, Vi. This is our chance to step up. Oh, we can't all be as brave as you, Lal. Have you worked at Marks and Spencer long, Miss Cotton? I've been here for over a year, but only recently moved up to the office from the shoe counter. That makes sense. I definitely have noticed you before. Well, with as much as you have to do, Mr. Rubinson, I'm sure it's difficult for you to remember everyone. Call me Gerald. And yes, I suppose you're right. It has been very busy preparing everyone for this damn war. It's exhausting, isn't it? Are you hungry? There's a pie and mash shop round the corner. Would you care to join me? That sounds like an idea, Miss Cotton. Oh, please. Call me Lau. I wouldn't get too attached, darling. All our lads will be off shortly, I'm afraid. Now's not the time to fall in love. I want to take you all in. I don't want to forget anything. Forget? What do you mean? I shall be receiving my paper shortly. Oh. Yes, of course. Well, it seems so unfair that we should have just found each other now. I'm just glad we got this chance to meet. I I'd very much like to stay in touch. I'd like that too. When we came out, it was shattering. Rubble and dust everywhere. As soon as I got back home, I, well, I knew your mother was gone. Oh, Dad. Now that's Mick. Quite the dreamboat, ain't he? And who, may I ask, is this? I'm Lau. Lau? What an unusual name. Well, my real name's Alice, but my friends call me Lau. I'm not sure I want you to think of me as a friend. So to me, you'll be Alice. All right there, Lieutenant. Who are you writing to? Oh, uh, go back home. I never quite told her what she meant to me. I'm sure you'll get the chance. I do hope so. To my bride. My wife, my Alice, to us. Are you happy, my dove? Of course I am. I don't recognize her anymore. We used to be friends. You're still friends, okay? She is your sister. She loves you. You should hear yourself, Alice. All this rubbish about what war does to men. You sound so foolish. And you're an embarrassment. And you know, Mick, you were a coward not to fight. Say it again. No matter how many bombs fall, no matter how many people we lose, we must stay strong. All we have is each other. Um, hello. Sorry, I, I, I came here earlier looking for someone. Well, you, in fact. We met briefly just before the war. I'm, um... Mr. Rubinson. Yes. Hello. Hello. 